Hello, thanks for tuning in. Today's video will be a start of a new series I'm starting, which is uh, stylized hero character lighting. But before we jump into that, I first want to thank each and everyone for your continued support on my channel. Right now I'm almost hitting 40,000 subscribers, which means a whole lot to me. It's a really big milestone and I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. I want to create a nicer looking series today, so we'll be working on a stylized hero. We will be going into ZBrush and we'll be doing painter stuff. We go back to Maya, create some X-Gen fur on his, on his sweater. And then we also go into Houdini to create some nice uh, vellum solvers. And then we go back into Maya and we then do some shading, some look dev and we create some amazing lighting and then we will head back to comp and create some final looking uh, image. And I want to have you guys follow me and make sure you have that notification bell on so we'll always get new updates when a new video is uploaded from my channel. So uh, let's jump right into that and see what we can come up with today. So thank you guys again and let's see how that walkthrough looks like. All right, uh, let's finally do it. Um, enough of the talking. So I would say we should go into Maya now and I'll be showing you how I created this, this drape effect around the character, which is, adds a nice depth to the whole thing. And we will be doing this in Maya. So let's dive in. All right, in the top down view, I'm using the Bezier curve tool to create three points, which allows me to create a nice round shape around the character. Just use the pencil tool to create a wobbly line, which should represent the folding drapes. Then duplicate the shape, move it down and select the other one, go to the surfaces menu and loft them. Then go to the uh, options and create quads and make it a nice even surface. All right, that was the easy part. So what we'll be doing now is we will actually be exporting this as an Alembic file. Then we go back to Houdini, import it, and then we apply some very cool vellum solver, which is a new solver in Houdini 18, which is a very great and fast uh, cloth simulator it can do way more than just cloth but uh, we were just using that for the nice drapey feel of it so let's see how that will work all right first up i will be importing those two files so one is a the drapes itself which we just uh, exported from maya and then also like a little handrail which goes around the cloth just like to have a second geometry there the scale is a bit off so i just need to scale down by 0.1 to get it more or less in a correct scale i need to unpack it because alemic files are packed on default and then I will convert that to a polygon um, object. Using the group node, I'm selecting vertices which will be constrained in the vellum simulation. All right, time to simulate. So now I'm selecting the ground plane and animating it upward so we create a nice little drapey effect. And then we're just hitting play to actually start the simulation and see what we get. And now it's just messing around with parameters. So essentially what I want to do is um, reduce the stiffness so the drape is not like thick as leather. I want it to be smooth and thin like satin. So I'm just reducing the stiffness and the rest scale so the, the, the um, constraints will actually be a bit softer and they will collapse on each other a bit more. You see, that was actually not too difficult. Like Houdini is obviously, like people are scared of it, but essentially it's a super versatile tool and you can do so many things with it. I hope with these little tutorials, I'm helping you to uh, try it out, play with it and just see how easy it is to use. So uh, let's, show, let's go back into my import it and place it using uh, Arnold stand-ins. Back in Maya, I'm just creating a stand and pointing it to the exported Alembic caches. I'm also picking a few other locations like the microphone, which I then place into a nice composition. I'm creating a new extend description on the sweater and making sure that I use groomable splines. Then I'll just add some chaos using the brushes and add a few modifiers to create this nice curly look and feel. Now we're jumping into lighting. So I'm adding a key light, a rim light, which is a purple one. And then I'm just slowly starting to fill in the background um, just to give it more shape and more interesting in terms of the composition. Be sure to check out the in-depth tutorial about lighting this. In comp is where you polish your rendered images. So I'm adding a few glares, adding a few glows and adding chromatic aberration and some noise on top of that. Alright, 
This should give you a whole overview of the whole project from start to finish. I hope you like these new faster paced walkthroughs and I'm thinking of doing them more frequently. Make sure you have that notification bell turned on just to make sure you will not be missing any uploaded episodes for this series. So I want to thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.